Hi everybody, it's Deborah from Work at Home Online for Free.com. Thanks so much for tuning in and watching my video today. If you are a subscriber to my YouTube channel, you know that we did a video today about creating quality content for your website. And in that video, I talked about embedding videos into your content. And I promised you that I would do a little how-to video on how to do it. So today's video is called Embedding Videos into Your Website Content. I'm going to show you step-by-step -step how to do that. So again, thanks so much for watching. And let's go ahead and get to the video. If you haven't been here before, my name is Deborah. I own a website called Work at Home Online for Free.com. This is it. I'm going to give you a link to that in the description box, and it's all about making money online. I have an email subscriber list you can sign up to. I do videos once a week for this website if you would like to subscribe, if you're not already a subscriber. And again, I do articles and videos all about making money online. So today I'm just going to do a quick how to on my WordPress website of how to embed videos within your content. Now, as I was saying in the video we did earlier today, um, and I'm going to link that for you in the description box in case that's not where you just came from. Um, I talked about SEO strategies and how to get your content ranked in Google. And one of the strategies that you can use to get your content ranked is to include videos in your blog posts, okay? Now, if you are a YouTuber, you want to obviously include your own videos. But even if you're not, you should go to YouTube and you should find a nice quality video that would add value to your blog post and go ahead and embed it in your um, in your blog post. Now, what I, um, what I want to reiterate here is I personally think it's better to embed the video within your blog post than to just link to it, okay? If you have a video in your blog post, let me see if there's a video on this page. I don't know if there's a, there's not a video here. Let me just show you. Um, let's just look at one of my videos, or I'm sorry, one of my uh, blog posts. Well, Here's one, sale and affiliate marketing, that if you're watching this video on today's date, uh, look at the date of this video. The company, uh, Wealthy Affiliate, who taught me how to do a sale right now, and that's what this one is. But you can see I wrote the article, and then um, I included a video in the article. So, I'm sorry, I took you to the wrong article. There's the video right there. People can sign up for the video right there, but let me just get to the article itself. That was my sign-up form that I created. So... Here it is, Sale on Affiliate Marketing Training Course. So this is my article. This is what I created for my website. And here's the video. You see right down there in my content, here's the video. I'm sorry, look at how my internet is all over the place today. My internet is all over the place. I'm really sorry about this. I should have prepared a little bit better for this. So here's a video embedded into my content. All right, now here's the difference. This is why I'm taking the time to aggravate you with this because it's important. You can either embed the video so that when they click on it in your article, look, it keeps them right there in the article and they watch the video in your article, okay? If you link the article, or I'm sorry, if you link the video, if you just include the YouTube link, it'll open up so they'll be able to see it in your blog post like this. But when they click on it, it takes them off to YouTube where they're going to go watch your vi the video. That they're going to go watch it, but they're going to watch it on YouTube. And then what happens is they get all kinds of distractions. They see all these videos on YouTube that they're on their own playlist and the things that they've subscribed to. Next thing you know, they're spending the rest of their afternoon on YouTube watching videos and they have forgotten all about your article okay so the reason i'm spending so much time with this is to tell you you need to embed that video in your article so that they will stay here on your article to watch the video and not click off into youtube okay again it's called embedding instead of linking to a youtube video you're going to embed the video and that's what i'm going to show you right now I'm sorry for the time it took for me to actually show that to you. So, okay, you're in your WordPress website. All right, let's say you're going to do a new post. You're writing a new article. Let's just go ahead. I'm going to actually do this for you so that you can see. Okay, let's see that your article is about embedding videos and, you know, here's your content. My, my laptop's getting away from me here. Sorry. Okay, here's your content. You're writing, writing. Okay, there's your content. You got several paragraphs, whatever. 
Now you want to say, okay, right here, I want to put a video in. Well, what you do is you go to YouTube. And like I said, whether it's your video or somebody else's video, I happen to be a YouTuber. I have videos. I always embed my own videos within my content. But again, if you're not a YouTuber, just go to YouTube and find a video that will add value to your blog post. So you go to um, YouTube, you find whatever video. This happens to be my YouTube channel. Okay, let's say that we're going to include this video on increasing website traffic. Okay, you go to the video. I'm going to pause it so you don't have to hear my big mouth on that one. So you go to the video called Increasing Website Traffic. Okay, this one I would like to embed into my blog post. Now, if you go down here to share, you click share, see it gives you the link. Now you can copy that link and put it in your blog post. But again, if you do that, it'll show up in your blog post. They'll be able to see it, but when they click on it, it's going to take them to that link. It's going to take them off of your website. It's going to take them onto YouTube. You don't want to do that. You want to keep them here. So instead of copying that link, you're going to go up here to embed. See this word embed? Click on embed, and it gives you a better link. This is this is your link that you're going to embed into your web page. So you go down here to this word copy. It copies it for you. I just do a right click copy. All right. So you copy that embed code. You go back to your blog post. Now, if you just paste it here, it's going to show up like that and that's not right. Okay. You don't want it like that. Okay. So I'm going to just backspace that right out. Let's get rid of that. You don't want to just copy it like um, you would visually. You got to copy it in the text tab. So let's say that in our article, we're writing our article and we say, watch this video. All right, now what we do is instead of in the visual tab up here, you see my cursor here? Instead of the visual, you click text. And see where it says, watch this video? You go right below that and you put that code that you just copied from YouTube right there in under the text tab. Okay, now if you click back over to visual, ta -da, there it is. Now see what happens with this is when they, now you've embedded it. So when you publish this article, they're going to see this video just like this. It's really nice. It shows your thumbnail. It shows up looking really good in your article. And when they click at that, on that, they're going to be able to watch that video on your website so it's not going to take them off to google where they're going to get distracted with other stuff now if you are a youtube and you're thinking right now well wait a minute if they don't go to youtube am i going to get credit for them watching the video yes you will you got the embed code from youtube when they click on this and they're watching it in your website don't worry Google or YouTube knows they're watching it. So the answer is yes, you will get credit for the view. You will get credit for the watch time in YouTube. Okay. So because I am been such a confusing mess, I'm going to do that for you one more time. Okay. So let's delete this. Let's say that you're creating your post, you're writing content, you get down to say, okay, I'd like to include a video here. And you say, watch this video or however you introduce it in your content. You go to YouTube. You find the video that you want. Let's go back to my main page. You, you find, you know, whatever video that, that you want to embed in your, um, oops, I'm sorry. Let's just go to YouTube in general, not necessarily my, um, my uh, account. Let's go to YouTube in general, you know, search for it, find something that does give, you know, valuable um quality gives gives more value to your article you want it to be a video that is relevant i'm sorry this is taking so long um you want it to be a video that is relevant and then it's going to give more information and more value to your um youtube channel let's look at this cute puppy video this is cute okay whatever your video happens to be so you're going to go in here and again you're going to click oh look at them they're so cute uh you're going to click share and like I said, instead of copying that link, you're going to go to embed. You're going to click that. You're going to go down here. You're going to click the word copy. Right click, copy. Go back to your 
post, go under the text tab, put it where you want it, copy and paste, or paste it rather, and then there it is. All right, so that embeds the video within your content. All right, so I hope that that has given you um, good help on how to embed a video within your content and the reason why you should embed the video instead of just linking to the video. So again, thanks so much for watching my video today. If you're not already a subscriber, I would love it if you subscribe. I do videos at least once a week all about making money online. I cover uh, affiliate marketing, how to get training, um, how to do email marketing, social media marketing, uh, creating content, uh, um, SEO strategies, all kinds of stuff. And I do a video at least once a week, sometimes more than that. So also in the description box of this video, I'm going to give you the links to everything you could possibly want. Um, all the things that we talked about here, the video um, about how to get uh, website content, everything. And I'm also going to give you a link to subscribe for my email list. If you subscribe to my email list every week or so, you will get a video, or I'm sorry, um, an email from Work at Home Online for free. And it'll include either an article or a blog post or a video from me, again, all about making money online. And I think that you'll find that really valuable. So if this video helps you, please give it a like. It really helps YouTubers when you do that. If you're a subscriber to this channel, thank you so much. I appreciate your support so much. If you're not a subscriber, please click the subscribe button. And um, always, always, Feel free to comment and let me know if there's anything I can do to help you, if you have any questions, if there's anything that you wish I would do a video about to help you. If I can do it, I'm happy to do it. So again, thank you so much for visiting. My name is Deborah and my website is workathomeonlineforfree.com. Thanks again. Bye-bye.